Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, let's talk pre-cruise testing. If I was to say, hey, who do you think is the biggest advocate for ending pre-cruise testing? You would automatically say, well, it's the cruise lines. Well, guess what? There's another group of people out there pushing even harder than the cruise lines to end pre-cruise testing. I know, I know it seems like really hard to figure out, <laughs> wait a minute, who else would have, you know, their hat in the ring, if you will, other than the cruise lines about pre-cruise testing? Well, how about the tourism industry as a whole, and in particular, the cruise port cities? For instance, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Seattle, Los Angeles, Vancouver, etc. All these places rely on the tourism, not only of the cruise ships, but of the passengers spending money in their cities when they arrive or when they get off the ship. They are looking for hotel stays. They're looking for people doing tours before they have to take their flight. There's a lot of shops that people are picking things up before they get on their cruise ship. They're doing shopping, etc. Some people usually would come in two, three, four days ahead of time, spend a lot of money in the cities doing other things because they've never been there before. Hey, I'm going to Vancouver for an Alaska cruise. I'd like to spend two or three days in Vancouver to look around the city because I've never been there. Well, right now, because of that testing, people are saying, yeah, I, I don't know where to get a test. So uh, I'm going to a foreign city. I have to have a test within two days, but I'm there four days in advance. Where do I get a test? The cruise ports aren't providing the test for me anymore. Where do I get, I'm, so I, I'm just not gonna bother. I'm gonna fly in the night before, or I'm gonna fly in the day of the cruise, and that's it. I'm not gonna stay there until they end the testing because it's just too inconvenient. I have to do too much research. Why would I bother with the hassle? And so it's hurting the hotel chains, it's hurting the bus systems, the shops that are in the, in the area, it's hurting the hotels especially. But here, here's a, fa a figure that uh, I didn't know until I, I read up and researched on it. Did you know that people going on a cruise before the pandemic, 25% on average people spent more than one day in a hotel? They would spend two, three, four, five, sometimes a week in the cities that they were going to take a cruise from, either pre-cruise or post-cruise. Sometimes it was just to visit relatives, visit friends. Sometimes it's because they never have been to the city. I'm going to New Orleans. I'm going to go and visit New Orleans and see all the stuff that's there. I'm going to L.A. Never been to L.A. before. Let's tour around. Take a look. Yeah. It's not happening right now. In fact, the latest figures show that less than 5% of people are doing that now. So that's a big drop. 20% of cruise tourists, 20% in any given city, are spending less time in the cruise port now and less time in hotels than they were before the pandemic. That's a lot of money and a lot of income for the hotels. So the hotel industry and the tourist industry are really pushing to end any kind of restrictions that are going on right now. They're trying to end the testing going forward. They were the ones lobbying to end with the airlines the, the testing to fly back into the United States, to fly into Canada. They were the ones pushing this. Well, now they're pushing to end pre-cruise testing. So if you're an advocate of getting rid of that testing before you get on the cruise, Start start cheering on the hotel industry and the uh, tourism industry as a whole because they're the ones right now really pushing both governments, Canada, United States, uh, everywhere to end that regimen of having to take a pre-cruise test.
They're also at the forefront of trying to have countries and any other restrictions. For instance, in Canada, we have that Arrive can. And if you've headed off to Alaska from Vancouver, you know that you have to fill out this thing online on call Arrive can that you're, I'm this vaccine, or I'm arriving on this day, I'm arriving on this flight, I'm scheduled to do this, etc., etc., etc. Just another thing you have to fill out to try and travel again. Well, the tourism, the hotel chains and everything are saying, hey, even that is stopping cross-border travel, uh, day trips, shopping. The Niagara region is saying people aren't coming right now. It's our busiest time of year because we're still throwing roadblocks in their face to come across into our country. And so a lot of people are pushing to end that as well. And the tourism industry is saying we need help from the government. We need help to make it easier for people, not harder for people, to travel. So yeah, big surprise. It's not the cruise lines really pushing really, really hard to end that cruise testing, pre-cruise testing. It's the hotels. It's the shops. It's the cities. They're the ones who really need the help to end that testing so more people stay and spend more money in their towns, hotels, restaurants, and shops. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button Till next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.